admit what all had happened leading up to now. So, no, they would go to their grave, literally, with without this crossing their lips. What do you think, Dan, has been happening all these years, these visitations? In your opinion, what's it all about? What's happening? Boy, that's the big question. Um, Is it something? There are multiple intelligences involved here. And from all that I've done within MUFON, I've come to understand to my own satisfaction that if there are half a dozen or a dozen different intelligences at work, they are not all necessarily working together. In just a few of these hypnosis cases that I analyzed, the doctor, the entity in charge, where the person is stretched out on a table, paralyzed, and going through a physical exam, the doctor... So I'm somewhere in Utah. I won't say exactly where it is. I had a tip that this is a high... Um, Traffic Sasquatch area, or at least it's a Sasquatch area that they, um, but I can't, I won't say more about it. It's about almost 2 a.m. It's almost 2 a.m. Well, right here there's just little bitty trees. Lots of watching in a second. So I'm listening to George North. Talking about aliens. I thought the one before this was our prior was more interesting. We were talking about... Uh, Giants and uh, their DNA. Actually, you can't see very well the trees and everything. Let me go pull out of my. I'm just picking some random part area in the woods here. Anyway, probably will look nice and inviting in the daytime, but at night it looks. Really dense and dark. This particular road right here is supposed to be a hot spot. All I see is this in Utah. Leave it at that. Let's see, how, where am I? 1.9 miles. I need to go up to 5 miles up this road. It's, it doesn't look so squashy right there, but back there, coming through there. That looks pretty darn squashy looking. Okay, hold on, cut this out. Well, we are talking about the. Uh, Anyway, Dennis Ovens uh, and Gobebli Tepe. I'm not sure to pronounce that. Gobebli. Gobebli. Anyway. anyway, this is a uh, more squatchy looking. Again, the trees are taller. It's, it's so dark out here you can't see very far. As I was saying, it's supposed to be a Sasquatch hotspot. Sightings out here. And that's why I'm here at night, I guess, to see if I hear, hear or see anything. <laughs> because we're out at night, not that I can see that well at night, obviously. But I hope I don't, you know. Never one to want to get a super close up front one view. I just I know those usually don't go that well. <laughs> uh, anyway, they want to run across the road. They can do it 
but usually they don't want to do it, especially if you got like a oops, film going or something. There's a big old water hole here. Sorry if this is bumpy, but I don't have it mounted on the gimbal. Sasquatch Country. Okay, uh, don't want to give it away too much. So I'm at an undisclosed location. I had a tip from someone that there have been Sasquatch sightings in this area. It's in Utah. I'll just leave it at that. And I'll um, see if we find anything here. Here's a boggy looking pond with thick grass around it. It's probably is underwater at times or has been in the past.
There's a big matted down area. I guess you can see that. About you know, five or more feet across. whole lot to see there. Just some kind of murky, mucky water. But this this is one spot I was trying to find on GPS, so pretty sure this is it. I'll check the GPS here. Let's see. Yes, I'm right on it here. Okay. Well, there's some creeks around here too. Uh, the one you saw, and then there's I think another one on the other side of the road also, which is probably larger than that, than that one. like the remains of an old cabin. Long gone. Some of it's a lot of it's completely rotted out. Dry rot. bygone era. Now this is how humans stack wood for a cabin, obviously. Not Sasquatch. something weird going on over there. Let's see if I can find a place to pull over. It looks like a Colorado Bigfoot type stuff. <laughs> Lots of small trees, all kind of jungle gym like uh, configuration. Uh, okay, let's see if I can get over there. So what caught my eye was up here.
and stuff like this, you know, there's always potential for it to be natural. You have to inspect it and see how much looks manipulated. So let's just go ahead and find, take a look at it. I guess I'll just leave it up to the viewers, but it could very well be <clears throat> completely natural, but still kind of interesting. something more difficult to pass through. Kind of interesting how we have three trees that are essentially stacked up here. One, two, and then the other side is the third one. Well, actually, maybe they did grow in place. You can see root structure on those. So, well, interesting. That, that can form naturally, I guess. <laughs> I don't see any prints. Some kind of thicker, nondescript forest over there. Just a woodpecker in the distance. So I guess we're going to go back. And, uh, go back a slightly different way. This angle, it does look, look interesting though, jungle gym like.
looks reasonably squashy out there. Looks like there's been some sawing done along here. Clear things out a little bit. Maybe just to take out the dead trees, possibly. Yeah, this is definitely reminiscent of uh, Colorado Sasquatch right over here. Not exactly the same thing, but reminiscent, definitely so. I guess I should look and see if these grew in position or not. They're a little heavy to pull up. That one might have grown in position, I can't tell. Actually that one may have as well, I'm not 100% sure. Um, these ones don't look like they did, but who knows. It's, I get old, it's kind of hard to tell once you start digging around. I guess I could dig around here. It doesn't really look like it grew. No, not particularly. Well, for a place that was a hot tip as being a Sasquatch area. This definitely fits the classic at least look of us. What? Like something thrown. Could have been me just getting caught on something. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely fits the uh, classic <clears throat> look that we've kind of come become accustomed to uh, being associated with Sasquatch. More so than most places I've been in Utah, actually. So anyway, just a comment there. Not saying anything definitive.
also, uh, I would assume that's the work of loggers. Huh, wow, that is uh, impressive. It's well, maybe the height of three, three tall people or more. Let me go right up to it here. <laughs> Uh, won't fall down, but... Right. Definitely not a Sasquatch. Unless they've procured some chainsaws and exerted a lot of their effort, which of course I'm not suggesting they have. Oh, that is big. Uh, let's see, this direction, width, Mm, I don't know, 50 feet maybe? More? So I notice there is what looks like a little structure over here. Uh, I guess we'll d determine whether it's man-made or possibly otherwise. At least I thought I saw something. Maybe it was just a pile of debris. No, there is something over here. Okay. There are piles of debris. Yeah, there is something over here. That looks like it's been arranged. of cut timber around here. Looks pretty old. Uh, go ahead and take a quick photo of that. So, yeah, interesting. Hmm. 
surprisingly with all this cut timber that's been sawed here, most of these are not sawed. There's one that is right there, but most of the rest of these don't appear to be sawed. It seems like the timber there is looks older than the cut material that's, that's around here. It's not big. Height is, oh, maybe a little over six feet. Really nice thick forest behind it here. So I'm just looking at it, it does seem to share some of the characteristics that are seem to be consistent with structures in Utah that we suspect more highly are Sasquatch. It has the long, uh, we just call it steeple type uh, arrangement, then it makes use of a, or at least it's near a very large log that's jutting out from it which is actually a lean up this way. Those are the first couple of things that I noticed that uh, it seems like humans aren't as likely to incorporate that type of thing. And it also really doesn't, I mean, it doesn't provide great shelter. It's just low to the ground. I, uh, I don't know if I can even get inside it. It's, um, I you know, probably could, but the high, at its highest point, like right here, there's probably no more than four feet of clearage. Down here, you're looking at, you know, two feet, maybe a little more. Clearance, I guess, not clearage. Interesting structure, though. I mean, it has a kind of that look that it's kind of a little bit odd-looking, uh, a little primitive, uh, kind of a nest-like, almost compared to the regular teepee a human would do. Really. Anyway, I think it's a, a reason. I don't want to always say, "Oh yes, this is." There's no way humans can make this. I, you know, I guess they could, but it just has a lot of the characteristics that I would say it's a good chance it's uh, Sasquatch, in my opinion. And I look at the structure more, you know, thinking, "What is holding it up?" You have these vertical. Um, a lot of the weight, at least some of it, is right on that vertical uh, pole there. I guess if it collapsed, it would have it fall back on this larger one right here, so it would still uh, stay up a little bit. But it's kind of just um, woven in itself. It's uh, kind of, uh, again, that unusual... Je ne sais quoi, the unusual, uh, I don't know what is a little translation of that, uh, construction that seems to be used by Sasquatch. At least that's what I'm thinking. Hmm. You also got these kind of intersecting up here. It's just, you know, kind of an odd looking thing. Uh, let me go and take a minute and look at the woods back here then. I'll be back if I find anything. Well, back again, uh, not far at all from that other structure. And uh, right away there's a fence here, which I'm sure Sasquatch could take one nice step over and it's right over. It's actually not that tall of a fence. So I could almost get my leg over, but not quite. I find this back here. Look at that. Is this uh, I'm tripping? Is this all natural? It's going right over the fence. <laughs> Everything is uh, leaning up there. Again, there's a lot of cut timber around, but.
know if it was just a woodpecker. Kind of hard for me to inspect whether those are cut down or not because uh, it's on the other side. Let me take a look at this one over here. I can. It does appear like it could have grown there. Still, it's kind of unusual that everything would be just arranged just so, so they're all intersecting like that. That is like, um, to me that has to be Sasquatch, I'm just saying. So you have one knot up there, and a second one tier down there. And then we have a nice little structure right up front there, and then we have this huge one back here, just, you know, yards away. And I heard a knock. That's it, possibly. I'm just going to get all this in at once. Yeah. Um, let's see. You know, that's like... 60 feet tall, I don't know, maybe less. Really impressive. So I managed to get over the fence with the use of some sawed logs. And so I'll go a little further this way. <clears throat> This one, this bow uh, lean or is definitely tied down there. Yeah, this looks like pretty good habitat to me. Some leans. But I don't think they do have More interesting looking stuff. <clears throat> we have a leans collection right there, four different ones, and then we have like a little extra embellishment right there. And we got these, one stacked on top. Now this definitely looks <clears throat> like it's been kind of arranged a little subtly, but arranged. More things. You can see lots of elk pellets around here. Well, I just heard an owl, it's kind of the middle of the day. 
kind of sounded like an owl. Of course the camera was off. It's coming from that way. Quite a distance it's needed. For a second I thought there was another fence because this one that's leaned up right here. Well, maybe it grew there. This does look like an interesting train. Game trail. This definitely seems like what things go through here. Well, it's probably elk and deer. There's an X. Anyway, I don't think I'll go much further. It's fairly thick back in there, and looks like I'm just going to keep finding uh, <coughs> similar things. It seems like they put the more spectacular things out front for like your, their front lawn for people to see or something. If they happen by, maybe. I don't know. Really nasty splintered break right there. It's quite squatchy looking back. A lot of obstacles to navigate to this type of terrain. It's still fairly open right here. The sun's come out Go a little further. Keep rolling because the video, because I just in case here's anything, and the train looks so squatchy anyway that's kind of interesting, at least to me. Maybe to you too, maybe. Here's some kicked up soil. Uh, that might be gophers. Oh, here's another. Is that the structure? It's almost like a little den type thing. So X is all around. Go too far, I don't have my GPS on me. But this is the kind of little den thing I see. There's obstacles all surrounding it. And then it has a nice little floor of pine needles.
than almost. I don't know. It just Maybe at one time it was more kind of like complete looking. Well, they really soft and deep pines. But there you have that. I don't know. Maybe it's all natural. I don't know. But it's just surrounded by this. Is that going straight up? And everything around is just leans and things up everywhere. Here's this side. And further on, you can see more debris blocking the way to get into this nice little. See how soft this is? I was able to put a print in there myself. I don't see any other prints that are obvious right now. <clears throat> Maybe deer prints and little things like that, I don't know. It's kind of weird. More jungle gym type qualities in there. Leans. So there's the jungle gym kind of area over there, and you kind of see, looks like what is one of their corridors. It seems like they always have these um, branches intersecting them perpendicular. I wonder if that helps in the snow to sometimes, or it helps trip up uh, game. And um, you know, here's a kind of a thing going on over there. But anyway, I don't want to go down there. I just don't want to get lost, um, get my bearings too off. I hope I haven't already. Um, but anyway, that's all. So this looks pretty busted up and blocked as well. For this <clears throat> trail up here. Granted, I guess the Forest Service could have done that to try to block the trail. Looks like they <clears throat> obviously put this up. But anyway, I don't think they knocked this down. Close to all other motorized vehicles. I'm going to kind of put that upright again. Let's see. This trail is open to nothing. No, just kidding. But anyway, <clears throat> look how busted up this is. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's not as busted up as it looks. I guess this is, this is just a piece of wood here. It's not part of it. This kind of came out. Oops, knocked it back down. Anyway. Pretty well blocked. And then we have maybe some potential structures over here. This is a nice looking camp spot. Let me mixed aspens and pines. Oops. An asterisk-looking thing there. And we got this impressively bent, large aspen. Looks like a bow, like a type of bow you'd use with an arrow, it's somehow pinned in those pines over there, Here. I guess it grew there and it goes up there. Somehow it fixes to that 
aspen and bends it without breaking it. <laughs> and it's a big aspen. It's uh, ooh, I don't know, three fourths of a foot in diameter, maybe. Maybe a little between that and a half a foot. I don't know. And we got all of this. Here's the fabled Christmas meadows of Sasquatch fame on location. <clears throat> Thought I would stop by on my way back 